G'day there Husky people, uh, just giving you a bit of an idea on what we can do with the 449 511 platform with the new Tune ECU uh, Android app. Um, it allows us to get into the ECU, uh, stuff we could only do as a dealer with the HST dealer program and tuning software. Um, obviously the dealers are now gone, most of the new KTM type dealers or White Husqvarna dealers don't have access to that unless they were a red husky dealer previously and most of those did change um, so this is an app has been something I've dreamed of for a long time we've given the app designer a little bit of help in that we've um, shared the HST files with him uh, member Sergey has uh, very kindly donated to the freeware world his copy of the HST and uh, we've been able him and I have been able to forward that on so thank you very much Sergey um, and uh, yeah, with a bit of help from uh, Alain, who runs the Tune ECU website, and another member of uh, the Cafe Husky site, uh, Gobteld, uh, he's been able to break the code, and Alain has been able to add all of that together into his Tune ECU app. So, what does that mean for us? Well, uh, we've purchased this Lonelec cable from the UK. Uh, that basically goes from uh, USB port to uh, OBD2, this is the standard dealer plug for almost all cars now these days. Uh, that in itself can't get us there. So uh, the app is, uh, the tunability for the bike or the uploading for the bike is via um, Android device only. So this is the adapter that comes with the Lonelec plug to get you down to micro USB for your device. Um, Husqvarna page member Robert has been producing these adapter plugs. He's done a really nice job of this. Very secure, very solid, and a very sexy looking, professional looking plug. So that gets us from the OBD2 to the six pin port for the Husqvarna. And then we can load up our app on your chosen Android device. Uh, mine being a Sony Xperia and I've loaded up the ECU app, Tune ECU app. So I'll do the screenshots of that in a moment via the Android device, but in effect, that's what you'll see when you power up the device. Hopefully there's not too much screen reflection there. So, uh, moving through there, I'll now connect to the bike. Um, incidentally, this will work on the 2011 white frame. This, obviously see the white frame paint. It has an emission key, so my bike has a key. Um, bikes from 2012 onward have the black frame. They have some wiring changes and they just have an on-off run button, no ignition. Uh, the system works for both, and you can upload maps to both. Um, so we plug all, all of our adapters together, and then we find the data point in the bike. I shall remove the seat. Another thing I love about the Husky, the quick release seat that doesn't fall off. The Bergs have a quick release set seat, but they fall off on the road when you're towing them. So you'll see this is the plug for the jump connector to put the bike in map 2, the race map mode, and this is the data port. So you remove this cap from here and connect. So I'll go ahead and do that now. Won't be a moment. Back with you. Righto, so I have the cap away from my data port. You can see there's only four, I don't know if you can actually see it in the picture, in the vision there, there's only four pins in use in there. Uh, there's still a six point, six point connector. So I connect up to the bike. Excuse the shape. And you will hear the secondary butterfly motor power up. That means that the ECU is powered, the key is off, doesn't really matter, either key on, key off, or switch on, switch off, depending on your model, doesn't really matter. The plug makes the ECU live. Um, that's how the HST system used to be. So I'll allow the Tune ECU app to use the device. 